Hey guys, how you doing? Long time no see. Welcome to my first reaction and analysis video. Woo! Today I'm going to watch and analyze the probably most discussed beatbox battle in the past years. The GBB 2018 final round between D'Lo and Codfish. A lot of people still say D'Lo deserved to win and all judges of course are rigged. But today I'm going to tell you my opinion on why Codfish most definitely deserved to win this one. Let's go. <laughs> wow. Reacting to a video edited by myself. <laughs> Codfish won the coin toss. It's but it didn't watch this video for years. Yo, this really is excited the to watch it Make again. Make some noise. Give him some energy. Give him some love. Come on. Damn. Shout out Let's to the go. best host, Scott. Mm. Always Codfish hyping up people, man. Grand finale. I say the three. Y'all say the two and the one. One minute, 30 on Dino win three. Wow. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying my tracks and shout out to BBXR Clothing, okay? Always enjoying your tracks, bro. When Paul was just a little boy, I thought that everything was perfect. That's the way it's meant to be. Okay, one first thing already. I'm not gonna hate on Dilo at all. This is just just my opinion, right? Everyone can his own opinion. Um, but I think his singing could be way better. I know he's better now, but back then his singing was really off pitch. And I know it's hard to beatbox at the same time and be always in pitch and stuff, but that's the difference for me, the main difference between D'Lo and Codfish. Codfish um, is way more clear with his voice. Um, he's mostly on pitch most of the time. He's not always on pitch, of course, um, but yeah. This is for me the main difference. So try and listen closely how Dilo sings. It's kind of cool, right? But it's a battle. And you're going to judge the singing too. But relax, take a step back and breathe. Sing it like a symphony. The drop is okay with the pitch, but the sound, the sounds are kind of, the high pitch sounds are like, I don't know, could have made a better sound choice. Get me up on other platforms, yeah, boo. hurry up and skate the thunderstorm, yeah, boo. we can play it in our own time, time, boo. I don't want no more. I don't want to be a hey, this was the first good thing in this run. Like, of course, man, this fucking inward bass so sick. Up on all the platforms. Yeah, but that was uh, that was like the only thing, right? Like the only really good thing was like the last drop. Um, at the beginning, his singing was the vibe was nice, but the singing was off pitch, um, and yeah, like also the drop, like the sound choice could have been way better. I think Dilo has so much sounds that he could use, um, but for this drop, it was kind of random, like the slip oscillations and yeah, also the singing parts. Yeah, whatever. Let's watch Codfish. With the response, Codfish from Australia. I say the three, y'all say the two and the one. Basil in three! <laughs> Sit down, enjoy the ride. <laughs> let the beat in, let it slide. Yo, only this phrase already. Did you hear did you hear this like let wait, let me let me go back to this. Um he's like this live up vibrato that he has in his voice when he sings. Like the volume, like the fullness of his his voice sounds so full it's like in your face it's so warm um it's really clear listen listen again listen again just the beginning sit down enjoy the ride let the beat in let it slide i don't know what we're doing here I don't know if I and people hating on Napalm because he's overreacting. But yo, he's feeling the vibe so much like I do right now too. Like everyone, like 
some people say, yeah, life, it was way better. No, watch the video with good with, with a good sound system. I have I have pretty nice speakers here. Um, so you have the full experience. Sinjo did a great job on the mixing. Shout out to my bro Sinjo from Swiss Beatbox. Um, so you get a pretty decent experience watching the video. Um, and yeah, if you if you watch it on a good sound system or really good headphones, you will get a similar similar um, experience, and then you will understand why Napalm was overreacting. He's not overreacting. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, the bass and, and his voice. I don't know. I don't know. It's like really simple, but everything is on point. Everything. I don't know. Why sleep is the And the dynamics, man. He has so much control over his dynamics, man. I never sleep good, sleep is the cousin. Ah, oh, get, get goosebumps already again. <laughs> oh, sleep is the cousin of death. I never sleep, sleep is the cousin. The down, the down, the down, the down, the down, the down. <laughs> so much power, man. <laughs> Yo, so look at this. The first round of D-Lo versus the first round of Codfish. For me, there's no question. Codfish was way more cleaner. Of course, Dilo did sounds that were probably more special, um, like his crazy inward bass, right? This is probably harder to learn than a basic um, throat bass. But we're not looking at a basic throat bass, we're looking at a really full and clean throat bass of Codfish. He's like the only guy on this, on this planet that has a, a throat bass like this, you know? There is some people having sick throat basses, but his one is really original. Um, he can use it in a really musical voice, uh, in a really musical way. Um, his voice is really original. It's really full. You can, you could listen to a thousand singers, and you still would recognize Codfish. That's how special his voice is, you know. And you gotta, if you watch beatbox battles, beatboxing, it's not only technicality and crazy sounds. Beatboxing is also music. You need to watch it from the musical aspect. And from the musical aspect, Codfish, Codfish's first round was way better than Dilo's first round. Okay, let's continue with Dilo's second round. I need my sleep because I need to rest. <laughs> that was a good counter. A good counter, counter. I want my money back. And again, I think the idea is really nice. But the way he performed it, the, his voice is like not there where it should be. Um, it could be way cleaner. Um, yeah, he's he's not a singer. He sh um, he should use it more and practice it before he goes on a battle. Um, um, and I know his his voice now is way better than it was in 2018. But at this battle, it was. I'm sorry, it was horrible. Like from a singer's perspective, I'm also not the best singer, um, but I, I listened to a lot of singing. I took some classes. I even showed this video to some uh, singing teachers and they all told me like, yo, how did this guy even reach the finals? Right, because they only, they only see, of course, they only see the singer's perspective. If you watch it from a beatboxer's perspective, Dilo is fucking amazing he did a great job at GBB 2018 and also his previous battles in my opinion were better than this one um, he kind of kept like not the best rounds for the final 
Um, yeah, so I think he should be, um, he shouldn't take these kind of sounds with, with his voice. Could be way better. Anyways, let's keep watching. <laughs> That was what well, was kind of sick, right? But the build up to this point was not really strong. And this is really sick too. Of course, this is sick. This is really sick. I'm sorry, bruv. But again, this is like not the best shit that Dilo can do. So this was the second round of Dilo. And again, like in the first round, the beginning was kind of off. He could could have done way better. Um, of course, he was, it was, it was kind of funny um, how he took the piss out of codfish. Um, but then there was no real good stuff there. Um, I, I would expect way more from Dilo. He did way better in the previous battles. Um, so again, the, his voice was really off. Um, his sound choice, um, this, this, kind of, this little thing he did <laughs> was really sick. Um, but then the drop was cool, but not the best thing. Um, we, we know way better stuff from Dilo. Um, and yeah, kind of, there was not enough drive, especially for a final round. This was, could be better. All right, let's watch Codfish now. I say the three, I'll say the two and the one. <laughs> Getting nervous, like back, <laughs> back in 2018. Oh, oh, I hurt myself. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, to see if I still feel Oh, 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 oh I focus on the pain Oh, 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 oh The only thing that's real for oh, 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 Okay, I, I will say this is also not the best thing uh, Codfish did, but it's still clean. The beginning was sick. Um, the drum and bass beat, like the, the drums are really on point. Uh, the pitch, it's on pitch. Um, the composition could be a little bit better. I don't know, There's some, something is missing there, um, but it's, it's cool. It's a cool intro. Dilo is so confident to win. <laughs> now I want my money back. Money back. Money back. Money back. Money. I want my money Yo, this lip roll, man. You, you gotta listen to this lip roll on a sick system, yo. What the fuck? Yo. For real, this is like one of the craziest lip rolls a beatbox ever did on stage. For real. Holy shit, man. <laughs> DBK with the Russian head. <laughs> yeah. Whew, that was crazy. The solo champion Grand Beatbox Battle 10th edition. I need to 2018. see the ending again. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a drum roll. Look at these two young motherfuckers, man.
Can't believe it, man. You can't believe it, but it's true, bro. Make some noise for and you fucking deserved it. You fucking deserved it. That was super sick, man. That was super sick. And I and I I don't even think that D'Lo. I'm not sure. I, I wasn't seeing D'Lo, but he doesn't look like. Second, the vice champion. He do, it doesn't look like that. He can't. Uh, understand at all the codfish wanted and I know these guys Make are friends so no hate just just real right. real love yeah anyways so this was uh, codfish versus D-Lo um, for me it's clear fucking clear um, codfish won it for me because it was way cleaner his sound choice was way better especially in the second uh, battle This fucking liberal combo, man. Oh my gosh. Like, yo, did you see Napalm? He's like the one of the best liberalers, if not the best liberaler on this fucking planet. And even he, he lost his mind, right? <laughs> Because the liberal were cr was crazy as fuck. And then overall, Codfish, Codfish both, uh, Codfish delivered two really sick rounds. While D'Lo kind of always in both rounds, he sounded really poor. Um, his voice was off, sound choice was question questionable. Um, he had some nice drops, but not really outstanding. Um, and Codfish did a really outstanding last drop in the final round. So for me, it's pretty clear. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this battle overall? Um, what, what is your emotion? Especially if you're new to the beatbox scene, um, what do you think um, of this kind of battle? Um, and let me know what's, what's your opinion? Uh, what do you think? Who deserved it more? Um, I will pick out some comments um, and answer to them, of course. I want to discuss this, uh, this thingy with you. Um, let me know what's your opinion on that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and I see you for the next video.